Hi guys, Pastor Andy here. Hey, I wanted to just bring you up to date. This is your update for May 2nd. Can you believe it's May? May already? Hey, I wanted to get with you really quickly and I wanted to talk to you about uh, what's been going on, what happened in April, what are we doing going forward. And so as we uh, look uh, forward towards the rest of May here, uh, here's we were hoping that uh, tomorrow, May 3rd, was going to be the day that we were going to be back. But the governor has extended uh, up through the 15th uh, the stay-at-home, um, uh, stay-at-home, well, whatever you call it, the, that he wants us to stay at home. So um, a couple of things that, that are out there that you need to know about. So uh, the Attorney General uh, of Arizona has said, we can go back and we can meet together and we can do those things. And so uh, it's a little bit confusing because we think that that's the rule of law and what could happen. But in reality, here's how it works. The governor um, has given uh, the state an executive order. And an executive order means the governor saying, uh, I'm in charge no matter what anybody says, this is how it's going to be. And so um, right now they're saying, you know, people can start meeting together. They're loosening things up, but no more than 10 people at a time. You know how that goes. And so very quickly, we believe that it's going to turn from that to 50 to 60 people. And that is our uh, sweet spot or a place that we want to be uh, quickly as possible so that we can begin to meet together. Our, our main goal is the safety of every single person who calls the church their home. So uh, continue to be patient and continue to be faithful in everything that you do as part of the church, reaching out to others and doing those things. And uh, thanks for everything that, you, that you're doing and your, your encouraging words and, and those things. It makes a difference. Uh, and I look forward to the time when we can get back together in person. But until then, we'll just be doing our church services and Wednesday night services online like we've been doing over the last month here, month and a half. So hang in there with us because I think we're just weeks away from being able to be back together again. And so that's my hope, not something that I have in writing or anything of that nature yet. So anyway, that's where we are right now. Um, I want to give you a little update on what happened in April. Uh, April, uh, God's people uh, were very faithful. And our goal, or our, our, uh, our financial budget for the church is uh, 6,300, a little less than that, per month. And God's people... Uh, gave uh, seven thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars this month. Uh, I was going to put another dollar with it, but I thought you wouldn't believe me if I said a round number like eight thousand. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything is is going great. Thank you for your support. We are uh, working with uh, like the school. The school is not charging us obviously rent because we're not there. Uh, and uh, working with our insurance and certain things like that to try to, um, I'm not going to say take advantage, but to um, see what they are, are looking to do. And uh, But from, uh, from a financial perspective, everything's going great. We continue to see our viewers grow online, and it certainly shows us that uh, the online audience is a great way to reach people for Christ as well as our time together, of course. So uh, be praying for that, that God uses us to reach people. I think the enemy expected uh, this time uh, to be a time of silence, and we're anything but silent. So uh, thanks for, for being a part of this. Watch our service tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. Man, it's going to be a good one. You don't want to miss that one. And then Wednesday night, 
Wednesday night. Now, I know I'm asking you to be a part of two services in one week. So uh, take it easy. <laughs> be a part of Wednesday night service because on Thursday is a national day of prayer. And we're going to uh, interrupt our Wednesday service with a special message about prayer and about this National Day of Prayer. And I want you to be involved with it. And I want to ask you to just stand with uh, the rest of the Christ followers and uh, pray. Pray for our country. Pray for the things that are happening. So tonight, that's it for me. And I will update you as I know what's going on. The reason why this this message is so late is really because that's how fast things are happening. Things are being laid out, and we don't know until the last minute what is going to happen. So that's what's that's what's up. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Have a great night, and be on tomorrow morning. I'll I'll be watching for you. Okay. See ya. Bye.